Welcome to BizWire. I'm Joseph Nordstrom in Beijing. The U.S. Treasury Department issued a report on foreign currency, saying the recent weakness in the Chinese yuan raised serious concerns, but declined to accuse China of being a currency manipulator. For many years, China has run a large trade surplus, so the country's central bank has had to buy dollars to keep its currency from appreciating. China now has nearly $4 trillion in reserves. A more valuable currency makes exports less competitive, but now that China's economy is shifting away from a reliance on exports, authorities until recently have allowed the yuan to gradually move up in value. Last month, monetary authorities widened the range the yuan can trade daily to help the financial system prepare for a freely floating currency within two years. To safely allow the yuan to float, though, the country will have to enact far-ranging financial reforms to offset the likelihood of a crisis. This path is part of a strategy reformers have used in the past. Chinese officials often set targets that obligate the government to pass legislation that would otherwise face strong opposition. Now, some of China's strongest advocates of financial modernization have welcomed international criticism towards its currency policies. They believe the pressure will help push the country onto a more sustainable path that would enable it to stop buying so much U.S. debt and welcomed increased foreign investment. China describes its currency controls as a managed floating exchange rate system. They've used this over the years to make exports more competitive, but Beijing's strategy is shifting. A rising currency would also force Chinese manufacturers to produce higher quality goods to offset more expensive prices overseas buyers must pay. Officials in Beijing still hope to steer the economy towards more domestic consumption, which would be less prone to external shocks. Some say that the recent UN weakness is to give exports a boost, but this is unlikely as it doesn't change the long-range trends that buyers look to when securing contracts. Keeping the UN from rising is expensive as it requires buying huge amounts of U.S. Treasuries. U.S. debt is secure but offers little in the way of appreciation. The main objective of the recent UN depreciation is to stop the inflow of funds that are disguised as payments for exports and to school firms to more prudently hedge their currency positions. In its report, the U.S. Treasury said the widened trading ban, quote, gives China an opportunity to reduce intervention and allow the market to play a greater role in determining the exchange rate. But the report says that the reform process is incomplete, something no Chinese official would dispute. You're watching BizWire on the Blue Ocean Network, China's first and only privately owned English language broadcast media. Our full episode can be seen on our website, bon.tv backslash biz dash wire. Let's turn now to Neil Jones for a quick look at a few stories that are buzzing through the markets.